guys, this is Stephanie with Gypsy's Creative Creations. I'm coming back today to show you how to make a weather out of the large witch's hat that's at the Dollar Tree. Um, it's bigger than the one with the boo on it. And the part that I don't like is that the hat itself, the rim, is facing downward. So what I'm going to try to do is give it a little bit of a 3D effect by bending it this way. So you could use the table to your advantage. And what I'm going to do is just fold it upwards that way. And because I want it to look more like a hat, that little bubble piece at the bottom kind of is a little awkward the way they have it facing down. So if you look this way, it has more of a 3D hat effect. So what I'm going to be doing is wrapping it up with this burlap, orange burlap with black chevron. And the chevron pattern is in black glitter. It's really cute. Okay, so where you're wanting to start at is right here where it's naturally folded at from the Dollar Tree. You're going to put a little bit of hot glue in there. And you're going to stick the point of your hat into the crevice but not where the tip actually comes out of the top and just wait until it actually adheres okay guys so you, you want to start wrapping it so when you do you kind of want to fold it in half like this and the reason being is because this hat is larger it's not going to wrap properly if you leave it just wide open so as you could tell I'm folding it in half as I go along and then you want to overlap your layers so if you look right there I'm overlapping my layers now as far as the tip goes don't worry about that because I always add a bow or something to the tip Okay, as you can tell, I can only do half of the hat with one roll. And that's because it is a very large hat. So what you want to do is just put a little dot of hot glue right here. And go ahead and start folding it in half like that. So you want to put a dot of hot glue to make sure that the fold stays at the thickest part. Like that. And then you want to put another piece of hot glue right here because you want to start off where you left off at. And while that dries, don't forget to add in what you're going to hang it with. So just grab you a pipe cleaner and get into the middle loop here. And what I like to do make me a nice little loop where it's semi big and then just twist this in the inside of it and the reason being is that it makes it way thicker and then that way if you were to add anything else or it just makes it thicker where it's not gonna you don't have to worry about it breaking off so so you need to make sure you go ahead and add that in there now because once you make this wreath, it's hard to push that burlap out of the way to put one in there. What I'm doing. Take it and kind of tuck it inside. That way it's out of the way. Alright guys, so you, when you get right here to the end, make sure to put a hot glue and hold it. Um, you're going to have to hold it just so it doesn't slide up and it stays in place. And this did take three rolls each roll had nine feet so it is full and i just wrapped the top part as you can tell this thing is bigger than my head so it took three rolls of nine feet i double fold like i folded it over and wrapped it that way if you wrap it the wide way it will not wrap right at all so the bottom part of the witch's hat i'm going to use 
black mesh, orange. So I have two of the black, two of the orange, and just one candy corn because that's what I have left. Um, and I'm also going to be using tubing. I'm going to be using this black ribbon with um, green lining and then this one with the spiders on it. So I really wanted a traditional witch hat with just orange and black and just a little hint of green and not that much. Um, so all of this is going to be cut at 30 inches and then wrapped in some pipe cleaners. So give me just a minute and I'll be right back after I cut all of the mesh up. Okay, thanks. Alright y'all, I'm back. So on this part, as you can tell at the bottom of the reef form, there's only one bar and then you have the top, the back, and then it comes to a corner. So in these spots right here, it would make it difficult to um, put any type of uh, mesh in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a couple pipe cleaners and make bridges. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna weave it kind of in and out like that. Um, and just twist it. Go like this. And just twist it like this. And that's just to give you a better a bridge besides the one bridge in the middle to attach your mesh to. So you could add several of these in here. So what you're gonna do is get a black mesh and crinkle it up like a butterfly. Like that. Then you're gonna add your ribbon to the back of it. And then make sure that your pipe cleaners are cut in half. That way you don't have a really long pipe cleaner. And what I like to do is start at the very corner of the hat, like that. And then you'll just fill in as you go along, rotating the colors and the ribbons. Hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I finished putting on all of the mesh, as you can tell. So. I did a ribbon, one of these, then a blank one, then a ribbon, then one of these, then a blank one. So you have to alternate it just to get that fuller look. So not every single one of these have a ribbon on them. Some of them are blank. So for the topper, all I did was put some mesh together. I alternated it and then put these in there and then I put the orange one in there as well. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to not only hot glue it, but I'm also going to twist tie it to the top. So I'm going to put that on the very top right here. And do you remember I told you you won't be able to see the top? So if you put a topper on it, you won't be able to see it. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this sign. I, it comes in a three tier sign, so let me show you how that looks. So when you buy them from the Dollar Tree, it's easier to buy the three tier because you get, a, get to use bar, pieces of it and stuff like that for other crafts. So you'll see it like this. Um, but this one says the witch is in kind of lower center of the form. So I also have these little green spiders. I thought that would be cute to add. And of course you could add anything to this, whether it's skulls, eyeballs, um, just to really make it your own. See? So there it is. Now the next thing I'm going to do is cut these legs off and I'm gonna add them to the bottom. You're gonna cut them off of there. And stuff them hey guys so like I told you before you can stuff it with any type of material that you want to the two little legs 
and usually you want to space them like that and get you a little pipe cleaner here and just kind of twist it on there and then you go to the bottom of the reef there preferably center all right guys here it is completed as you can tell I did the, attach the topper to it there's a spider here and a spider here in the course of sign and here's the bottom part of it and here's the legs and of course you can put them far apart close together completely up to you and there it is completed well thanks guys for joining me on this DIY um, from the Dollar Tree if you'd like to see more please subscribe like the video I'm also on pin interest Instagram Twitter if you want to check out my Easty shop, Gypsy's Creative Creations. So um, thanks. Y'all have a good day.